Hello friends, welcome to Harrison Notes. In this play, playlist, we will discuss about various topics from Harrison. Okay, so this is notes made from Harrison topics directly. Harrison 20th edition. So this is useful for MBA st students during final exam, during MD, for NEET PG, NEET SS and during super speculation. Okay, so uh, plural effusion we will be discussing in this video. The cause of plural effusion, uh, excess fluid in the plural space is called plural effusion. So uh, I want to tell you one thing. So the topic is endless. Any topic in medicine is endless. If you just refer so many test books, you will gather pages and pages of subject. But uh, my intention is to cover Harrison notes. So whatever is covered in the Harrison, all the important points will be covered in the notes format. So it will save your time. You need not read uh, Harrison pages uh, so that you will save your time. You know, reading Harrison is not simple. If you sit for one hour or two hours, you will read some four or five pages. Okay. And grasping and remembering the subject is also very difficult without making the notes. So you can just see this video and it will be easy for you. Okay. So plural effusion, excess fluid in the plural space. Plural space is between parietal pleura and visceral pleura. So when is plural effusion formed? When the formation is more than the absorption. The fluid uh, is formed from capillaries in the parietal pleura. It also comes from the intestinal, interstitial spaces of the lung from the visceral root. That is from the visceral pleura. So it is formed from capillaries in the parietal pleura and from the interstitial spaces of the lung through visceral pleura and it also comes from peritoneal cavity through the small holes in the diaphragm so fluid is, fluid is absorbed by lymphatics from the parietal pleura okay so lymphatics can absorb 20 times more than normal formation so diagnosis generally you do by lateral decubitus x-ray chest ultrasound uh, through thoracocentesis okay uh, just ultrasound guided uh, thoracocentesis also can be done so, plural effusion is broadly two types, transudative and exudative. Transudative is generally due to systemic factors like LVH, left ventricular hypertrophy and cirrhosis. Exudative type is due to various causes like bacterial pneumonia, malignancy, viral infection and pulmonary embolism. So, characteristics of exudative plural effusion. So, serum or uh, plural fluid protein greater than 0.5, serum or uh, plural fluid LDH greater than 0.6, or pleural fluid LDH should be more than two thirds of the normal upper limit of the serum. When the clinical features does not coincide with the values, look for the serum and pleural fluid protein gradient. If it is more than 3.1 grams per deciliter or 31 grams per liter, then it is transudative pleural effusion. So exudative pleural effusion further needs following test. Like you have to see for appearance, glucose level, uh, differential cell count and cytology. Major causes of pleural effusion are pleural effusion in heart failure. Most common cause is LVH. Okay. Increased fluid in the interstitial spaces of the lung enters the pleural, pleural cavity from the visceral pleura. This is the uh, cause of pleural effusion in the LVH. Okay. Left ventricular failure. So in LVH it is usually bilateral. Okay. What is the treatment of pleural effusion is like treatment of the heart failure itself. If unilateral or if, or if the patient is febrile, then you have to go for diagnostic thoracocentesis because generally it is bilateral in heart failure. So a pleural fluid and terminal pro brain natriuretic peptide levels greater than 1500 picograms per ml is diagnostic of pleural effusion from congestive heart failure. This is a neat SS bit. Okay. Pleural effusion or neat PG bit also. In fact, neat PG is now more complicated than neat SS exam. So now pleural effusion in cirrhosis and ascites patients. So it is also called as hepatic hydrothorax. It is usually right sided and it is huge patient presence with dyspnea. In 5% of the cases of cirrhosis, it is present. So we have seen uh, pleural effusion in LVH and in cirrhosis. Now paranemonic effusion, this is the most common cause of exudative effusions. It can be due to bacterial pneumonia, lung abscess or bronchiectasis majorly. Okay, so empyema is grossly virulent effusion. So aerobic bacterial pneumonia presents with generally fever, chest pain, sputum production, leukocytosis. And anaerobic bacterial pneumonia generally presents with subacute illness. It will not be like fever, chest pain and uh, major symptomology. 
and it also presents with weight loss and brisk leukocytosis and mild anemia. Generally, paranemonic uh, effusions is, are evaluated by same lateral decubitus x-ray or chest ultrasound uh, or thoracocentesis. Therapeutic ther thoracocentesis is indicated if the distance between chest wall and lung is greater than 10 mm. Okay. So, uh, for certain procedures, what I am explaining now, like repeat thoracocentesis, chest tube insertion, installation of fibrinolytic agent and thoracoscopy or decortication are indicated in certain conditions. I will tell you what are the certain conditions now. Like loculated pleural effusion, pleural effusion pH less than 7.2, uh, pleural fluid uh, glucose less than 60 mg per deciliter or positive gram stain or culture of pleural fluid, gross pus in the pleural space. In these conditions, there is the indication for certain procedures like repeat thoracocentesis, chest tube insertion and installation of fibrinolytic agent like tissue plasminogen activator 10 mg and deoxyribonucleus 5 mg, thoracoscopy to break down the adhesions and finally decortications. Okay? Now we will see about effusion secondary to malignancy. So this is the second cause of exudative pleural effusion. So 75% of malignant pleural effusion are caused by three cancers that is lung carcinoma. Okay, pleura is nearest to lung. So remember lung carcinoma. Breast, breast is also near to lung and pleura. So breast carcinoma and lymphoma because pleura has, parietal pleura has full of lymphatics. Okay, so lung carcinoma, breast carcinoma, lymphoma causes 75% of malignant pleural effusions. So this is generally exudative type and patient will present with severe dyspnea and glucose level will be low. So diagnosis made by cytology generally. If the cytology is negative but all the symptoms are suggestive of malignancy, then you can do thoracoscopy. Okay, in thoracoscopy, pleural abrasion can be done. What is uh, pleural abrasion? Pleural abrasion is nothing but the scraping of the parietal pleura so that the symphysis of the pleura is done that is the vegetal and parietal pleura are attached so that there is no accumulation of the pleural fluid it is generally done in cases of recurrent spontaneous pneumothorax to prevent recurrence okay so ultrasound guided ct guided pleural biopsy can also be done okay uh, from the pleura thickened pleura or pleural nodules so symptomatic treatment is mostly indicated in malignancies because the malignancies which present as pleural effusion and dyspnea are already in advanced stages. So severe dyspnea if relieved by therapeutic thoracocentesis. So you can also try these procedures like insertion of small indwelling catheter, tube thoracostomy with installation of sclerosing agents such as doxycycline 500 mg. So now we will see mesothelioma. Why mesothelioma is important because it arises from mesothelial cells of pleural cavities. So most commonly it is due to asbestos exposure. So symptoms of mesothelium are chest pain, shortness of breath, chest x-ray shows, pleural effusion, generalized pleural thickening, shrunken hemithorax. So the diagnosis is done by image guided needle biopsy or thoracoscopy. Okay. So effusion secondary to pulmonary embolization. In this patient presents with dyspnea, pleural fluid will be exudative type diagnosis by spiral CT scan or pulmonary arteriography. And it usually decreases after anticoagulation. No specific treatment for pleural effusion is needed. Next comes tuberculous pleuritis. This is very common in India. It is exudative type, common with primary types of TB. Due to hyper, it, why it happens? It is not due to tubercular uh, mycobacterium tuberculum, but due to hypersensitivity reaction to tuberculous protein in the pleural space. The patient presents with fever, weight loss, dyspnea, pleuritic chest pain. And uh, it is exudative types and there will be increased number of small lymphocytes. Okay. Pleural fluid has greater than 40 international units per ml of adenosine, adenosine deaminase or interferon gamma greater than 140 picogram per ml. So interferon gamma is measured in picogram per ml. It is more than 140 or uh, adenosine deaminase greater than 40 international units per ml is diagnosis of tuberculous pleuritis. So diagnosis can also be made by culture of the pleural fluid, needle biopsy of the pleura or thoracoscopy. Viral effusions. Viral effusions are generally difficult to diagnose. So if the patient doesn't improve by antibiotics or regular course of treatment, then you have to suspect 
viral effusions and you have to wait and watch you should not treat vigorously like with higher antibiotics and all because viral effusions improves over a period of time without treatment the skylothorax chyle accumulates in the pleural space when thoracic duct is disturbed okay so most common cause of chylothorax is trauma or tumors of the mediastinum during thoracoscopy thoracocentesis is uh, extraction of that milky fluid so uh, you will find that milky fluid in thoracocentesis in chylothorax so biochemical analysis reveals triglyceride level more than 110 mg per deciliter if tumors are suspected uh, and if there is no history of trauma lymphangiogram or mediastinal ct scan is suggested to look for mediastinal uh, lymph nodes okay insertion of chest tube plus administration of octreotide is done okay in case of chylothorax and final resort will be abdo trans abdominal thoracic duct blockage or ligation of the thoracic duct chest tube uh, drainage is also done only for a short time and long time drainage can also cause malnutrition and immunological incompetence so you should avoid long term drainage okay only for short, certain amount of time uh, chest tube drainage can be tried this is chylothorax next coming to hemothorax most common cause is trauma other causes can be rupture of blood vessel or from tumor so diagnosis is perform hematocrit of pleural fluid if uh, pleural fluid hematocrit is more than half of peripheral blood the hematocrit then it is hemothorax tube thoracostomy can be done and if there is greater than 200 ml per, uh, per hour of pleural hemorrhage then angiographic coil embolization or thoracoscopy thoracotomy such procedure should be done to prevent the blood loss okay so if there is lacerations in pleura pleurodesis can be done that is a symphysis of the pleura so other causes of pleural effusion are if pleural fluid amylase levels are uh, more then it is diagnostic of esophageal disease or pancreatic disease and if patient is uh, febrile and pleural fluid is uh, uh, neutrophils is more in pleural fluid then uh, if there is no lung pathology then it can be due to abdominal abscess asbestos pleural effusion is another cause benign ovarian tumors if they present with pleural effusion and ascites it is called meek syndrome the same presentation can also be there in ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome drugs can cause pleural effusion and in this is diagnosed by more eosinophils in the pleural fluid pulmonary embolism sorry uh, pleural effusion can occur in uh, cabg also post cabg surgery okay bypass surgery and uh, some other procedures can also cause pleural effusion that is abdominal surgery radiation therapy iv central lines liver lung heart transplantations okay so this completes topic of pleural effusion in harrison's 20th edition thank you hope it, hope it helped you guys okay thank you